So hi everyone and welcome back once again to another session of PIV 247. So session uh, discontinued ho gaya tha due to certain reasons but you guys were asking for it. I was planning to restart it after phase 2 of RBI grade B but most of you were asking for this session so I am back again right. So abhi agle ek do sessions mein hum kya karenge jo piche hamara chhut gaya hai wo sara hum cover karenge and don't worry aapka kuch bahut zyada nahi chhuta hai because Fortunately or unfortunately, in the last two weeks, there was no news in the month of June. Okay, May till we had covered all of this. June, the two weeks in the past, there was no news in June. So in today's session, guys, we are going to discuss all the important news from the month of June 2021, first week, right? And in the entire week, there are only 10 questions. There are only 10 questions that we will cover today, which are from the first week. And in the next session, that is on Monday. टाइमिंग आपकी वही रहेगी मंडे वेडनेसडे एंड फ्राइडे सुबह आठ बजे पहले बीच में रात को आठ बजे हो गया था बट नाउ अगेन सुबह आठ बजे ही होगा सेशन मंडे वेडनेसडे एंड फ्राइडे सो टुडे इज फ्राइडे आज हम कवर करेंगे जून फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जून एंड इन द नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑन मंडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द सेकेंड वीक ऑफ जून सो दिस वे आपका जो भी बैकलॉग है वो पूरा हो जाएगा राइट सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द सेशन गाइज विदाउट एनी डिले एंड इफ यू आर कमिंग हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड प्रेस दिस बेलाइकन जो कि आपके सामने दिख रहा होगा एंड इफ यू वांट टू हैव दी ऑल राउंड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ योर एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन डाउनलोड दी अनुजन दिल एप एंड रिमेम्बर इफ यू वांट टू हैव द पीडीएफ ऑफ दिस सेशन यू कैन जॉइन द टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक फॉर विच इज प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन नाउ अब आपको सेशन के बाद पीडीएफ नहीं मिलेगी अब आपको सेशन से पहले पीडीएफ मिलेगी राइट right? आठ बजे टेलीग्राम चैनल पर पीडीएफ आ जाएगी जैसे ही सेशन लाइव होगा आप पीडीएफ के साथ बैठो पढ़ने के लिए और जो भी एक्स्ट्रा इंफॉर्मेशन मैं आपको दे रहा हूं वो राइट डाउन करते जाओ राइट तो लेट्स बिगिन गाइस विद द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन व्हिच सेज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर व्हिच इज हेडेड बाय ऑफ कोर्स मिस्टर मनसुख मंडाविया हैज लॉन्च्ड हर घर दस्तक कैंपेन 2.0 व्हिच विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड फ्रॉम 1 जून 2022 टू 31 जुलाई 2022 द क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कैंपेन व्हाट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कैंपेन सो वेरी इजी एंड वेरी डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन राइट So let's talk about this news first. Then we will come back to the question. So remember, the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has launched the second edition of Hargar Dastak campaign. Its first edition was launched last year in the year 2021 in the month of November. Right now, what is the objective of this campaign? Why this campaign has been launched? Remember, this has been launched to accelerate the pace and coverage of COVID-19 vaccination across all the states and UTs in the country. Right. And of course, as the question says, it will be implemented from 1st June 2022 to 31st July 2022. That is for the period of two months, right? So I hope guys, this news is clear. It's not much more need to learn because it is just a campaign. So only two, three things are required. Number one, the ministry, which ministry has launched it, the name of the campaign, which is Hargar Dastak, and the objective of the campaign. That's it. It's not much more need to learn. And therefore, the correct answer to this question is to accelerate the coverage of COVID-19 vaccination is the correct answer. Okay. And yes, congratulations to those who have phase one apna clear kar liya hai RBI grade B ka and jinka nahi hua hai koi baat nahi. Okay. Next time ho jayega. Itni koi tension lene wali baat nahi hai. Just you have to analyze ki what went wrong in phase one. Okay. Abhi marks aa jayenge to aur achche se pata chalega. Aur uske baad fir uspe kam karo. Okay. Zada kuch tension mein aane ki stress mein aane ki zarurat nahi hai. ठीक है, because it is fact कि ये सिर्फ एक examination है, इस बार नहीं हुआ तो अगली बार हो जाएगा, ठीक है, इतनी कोई tension वाली बात नहीं है, right? Now let's talk about question number two. Vice President of India during his visit to a country has signed three MOUs, one for visa-free regime for diplomatic and official passport holders, second for renewable of renewal of cultural exchange program for the period of sorry 2022 to 2026. And third is for enhancing the bilateral cooperation in youth matters. So you have to identify the country. Okay, now, now, see what is it? We have seen in phase 1 that questions were questions the, almost all the questions were twisted. Okay, so in this way, the question is now being asked. So uh, I have started to make questions like this. So you have to identify the country which, with, with which these three MOUs have been signed during the visit of vice president of India to that country. Remember, this country guys is Senegal. This country is Senegal. Option B is the correct answer to this question. And remember, of course, the 
कैपिटल ऑफ सेनेगल इज डाकर एंड 2026 समर यूथ ओलंपिक्स आर गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड इन दिस सिटी डाकर राइट ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम प्रमोशन ऑफ एमएसएमईज इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन एंड सिक्किम एंड यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एंड रिमेंबर कुछ जगहों पे ऐसा होता है एट सम प्लेसेस दैट सिक्किम को अलग रखा जाता है नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन से बिकॉज इट इज समाइम कंसिडर्ड इन द नॉर्थन पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री ठीक है तो इसीलिए यहाँ पे सिक्किम को अलग बोल रहे हैं नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न रीजन से so this uh, scheme central sector scheme promotion of msmes in north eastern region and sikkim it is in news because new guidelines have been released new guidelines have been released for this particular scheme and that's why it is in news and that is why it is very important for the upcoming phase 2 rbi grade b right so let's talk about the new guidelines kya hai new guidelines so remember central government has approved the new guidelines of this particular scheme and this is for why this has been done or you can say what is the objective of the scheme the objective of the scheme is to provide financial support to enhance the productivity of msmes and for their capacity building theek hai jo msmes hai unki uh, capability ko badhane ke liye aur unki capacity building karne ke liye this scheme is there and remember these msmes are from the north eastern region and sikkim theek hai ye pure desh ke liye nahi hai ye wali scheme now there are three components of this scheme which is important number one is setting up of new and modernizing of modernization of existing mini technology center mini technology center kuch naye banaye jayenge aur jo existing hai unko develop unko uh, modernize kiya jayega theek hai so for that financial assistance will be provided to the state government for this objective and this financial who will provide this financial assistance central government of course central government will provide this right and this financial assistance will be 90% for the projects up to rupees 15 crore theek hai ab aapke dimag mein ye aa raha hoga ki kya 15 crore tak ke project ke liye hi paisa diya jayega nahi they are saying ki for the projects up to rupees 15 crore central government will providing uh, 90% of the project cost which means uh, 13.50 crore agar 15 crore ka project hai to theek hai but what if the project is uh, is 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 of the amount more than 15 crore agar wo 15 crore se zyada hai to kya hoga in that case also the maximum funding that is 13.50 crore will be provided by the central government and the rest part will be borne by the state government or that particular msm right the projects with total project cost more than 15 crore will also be considered but maximum assistance in that case shall be limited to rupees 13.50 crores only that is the 90% of 15 crores right So that is the first component. Talking about second component, so remember, this is for development of new and existing industrial estates. The first component was for mini technology center. This is for industrial estates. And again, in this component also, financial assistance will be provided to the state governments by the central government. And again, the center assistance is limited up to ninety percent of the project cost. अब यहाँ पे थोड़ा सा एक डिफरेंस है पहले वाले कंपोनेंट से. for development of new industrial estate the maximum project cost which is considered is kitna 15 crore iske upar bhi hoga wo usko bhi diya jayega but in the scheme guidelines it is 15 crores and rupees 10 crores for development of existing industrial estates theek hai this is the maximum cost of project under this particular scheme but iske upar bhi jayega to bhi funding diya jayega like projects more than 10 crore or 15 crore will also be considered but in that case the funding will be provided 9 crore in this case and 13.5 crore in this case theek hai right agar 10 crore se zyada ka wo project hai theek hai to matlab agar development ki baat ho rahi hai of existing industrial state aur wo project 10 crore se zyada ka hai to funding kitni hogi 9 crore hogi central government ki taraf se but if it is the case of development of new industrial states and the amount of project is more than 15 crore then again 19 90% that is 13.50 crore will be provided by the central government right i hope this is clear now talking about the third component which is for development of tourism sector and again the financial assistance will be provided to the state governments for development of tourism sector and again the financial assistance is 90% and the maximum contribution from the central government side will be 4.50 crores theek okay, hai now remember these components are <coughs> according to the new guidelines of this particular scheme 
right so that is the important part for us in this particular news and now let's come back to the question we have to identify the correct statement right so for development of new and existing industrial states central government will provide 90% of the project cost this is absolutely correct no problem with this and maximum assistance for development of tourism is limited to 7.50 crore is that so no it is 4.50 crore right and for setting up of new and modernizing of existing mini technology center the financial assistance of central government will be 90% of the project cost no problem with this statement this is absolutely correct which means option c only 1 and 3 will be the correct answer all right moving ahead guys to question number 4 i hope everything is clear till now with which of the following flagship scheme e sanjeevani india's pre telemedicine service has been integrated so e sanjeevani ko integrate kiya hai with one of the platform or you can say with one of the uh, scheme so you just have to identify the name of that scheme right remember now e sanjeevani which is of course india's pre telemedicine service portal or you can say helpline theek hai to now this e sanjeevani has been integrated with ayushman bharat digital mission right it has been integrated with which scheme ayushman bharat digital mission now why this has been done what is the objective of doing this so after doing this the users of e sanjeevani the users of e sanjeevani can easily open their ayushman bharat digital account ठीक है दैट्स इट दैट इज द ऑब्जेक्टिव बिहाइंड इंटीग्रेटिंग ई संजीवनी विद आयुष्मान भारत डिजिटल मिशन राइट सो ऑप्शन ए इज द करेक्ट आंसर गाइस टू दिस क्वेश्चन आई होप दिस इज क्लियर मूविंग अहेड टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 5 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग मिनिस्ट्रीज हैज फॉर्मूलेटेड सागरमाला यंग प्रोफेशनल स्कीम टू एंगेज टैलेंटेड एंड डायनामिक यंग प्रोफेशनल्स इन वेरियस डिविजंस ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री सो आई बिलीव यू कैन इजीली आइडेंटिफाई दिस मिनिस्ट्री बिकॉज़ मैंने कई बार आप लोगों को बताया है द नेम ऑफ द मिनिस्ट्री is hidden in the name of the scheme itself right we are talking about sagar mala which means we are somewhat talking about oceans and seas and rivers right sagar mala sagar matlab ocean right so the ministry must be ministry of port shipping and waterways right and that is the answer to this question right so let's talk in brief about this particular program remember this program sagar mala young professional scheme or program or initiative has been launched by ministry of port shipping and waterways which is headed by mr sarvanand sonowal and he is also the minister of ayush right now remember the objective behind launching this initiative is to engage talented and young dynamic professionals in various dimensions of the of this ministry right remember the professionals will have the opportunity to learn about the functioning of the government as well as development policy concerns initially So, if five young professionals will be engaged for a period of two years, and this period will be extended based on the performance. Right. So now let's come back to the question. Therefore, the correct answer is what? Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways. Option E is the correct answer. Moving ahead to question number six. Consider the following statements with respect to fourth edition of State Food Safety Index, and you have to identify the incorrect statement. Very very important question, I believe. This question will definitely be there in any of the examination. जो भी आप दे रहे हो आगे. Uh, so consider the following statement with respect to fourth edition of State Food Safety. All right. So let's talk about State uh, State Food Safety Index first, and then we will come back to it. So remember, it has been released by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, but it has been prepared by FSSAI, which is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. Okay. and uh, this is the fourth edition the first edition was launched in the year 2018 19 which means financial year 19 mein pehla edition launch hua tha now the objective behind launching this particular index is to create a competitive and positive change in the food ecosystem of the country right and remember this index all the states and uts are judged on five parameters which are human resources and institutional data which is given at 20% weightage compliance 30% weightage food testing infrastructure and surveillance 20% training and capacity building 10% and consumer empowerment again 20% so remember these are the weightage uh, of these parameters right now talking about the ranking so among the large states tamil nadu is at number 1 followed by gujarat and maharashtra among the small states it is goa which is at number 1 followed by manipur and sikkim and among the uts it is jammu and kashmir Uh, followed by Delhi and Chandigarh. 
ठीक है सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर द टॉप थ्री इन ऑल द थ्री कैटेगरीज राइट दैट्स इट इतना ही है वापस आते हैं अपने क्वेश्चन की तरफ यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट नाउ तो अमंग लास्ट एट्स गुजरात है स्टॉप द इंडेक्स गुजरात है क्या नो इट इज तमिलनाडु राइट द इंडेक्स इज बेस्ड ऑन फाइव पैरामीटर्स हैविंग इक्वल वेटेज Yes, the index is based on five parameters, but they do not have equal weightages, right? So this is incorrect. The first edition of the index was launched in 2017-18. No, as I told you, the first edition was launched in 2018-19, right? So this is also incorrect, which means all are incorrect. Option E, guys, will be the correct answer to this question. Moving ahead to question number seven. Leaders in Climate Change Program has been launched by Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs, headed by Mr. H. S. Puri, who is also the Minister of Petroleum and Natural Gas. Do you remember this? It aims at capacity building among young professionals to lead climate action across sectors and geographies in India. It has been launched by National Institute of Urban Affairs, which works under Minister of Housing and Urban Affairs. And remember, this institute is located in New Delhi only. In collaboration with which of the following organizations? Okay, you have to identify the organization with which NIUA has collaborated to launch this program, which is Leaders in Climate Change Program. Now, in such programs, guys, we do not have to go into the details. Right? If a question comes, then it will be this. Or in this question, we will ask a little bit in different words. Right? So remember, this uh, program has been launched by. National Institute of Urban Affairs in collaboration with World Resources Institute India, which in short is WRI India. Right? Option B is the correct answer. Question number eight: <clears throat> Which movement was launched by Prime Minister on the occasion of World Environment Day, day which was on fifth of June, to invite collaboration from stakeholders for an environment conscious lifestyle? Now, can you identify this movement? It was in news. What other news was there? So remember, it is life. Life. Option A, life is the correct answer. Now I have a question for for you. Can you tell me the full form of this life? Write down in the comments. And remember, this is nothing new. It was announced by the Honorable Prime Minister during COP26, where he talked about three Ps. Three Ps are what? Pro planet people. Pro planet people is the three Ps, right? So therefore, the correct answer is what option A, life. Moving ahead to question number nine, which of the following forces under its operation Mahila Suraksha has secured uh, women's safety? Now this is not a new, uh, you know, this is not a new uh, scheme or initiative or campaign. This is nothing new. But ये news में था क्योंकि इसमें इसको काफी huge success मिला है, right? Remember, in this operation, Mahila Suraksha is being implemented by Railway Protection Force in Indian Railways to secure women to secure the safety of women passengers. Right? Option B is the correct answer. And guys, the last question for today: a consultation on transnational access to justice to women resulted in NRI marriages, policy and procedural gaps <coughs> has been organized to provide relief to Indian women. Deserted by their NRI husbands, right? The question. This is completely related to social issues, and that's why I have taken this, right? This question can be solved by social issues. Only part. Which of the following organizations has organized the event? Very easy question and very direct question. It is. It was organized by National Commission for Women, which is chaired by Rekha Sharma. Rekha Sharma is the chairperson of this commission. All right. Option C is the correct answer, guys, to this question. And that's it for the session today. I hope all the questions and their explanations are clear. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment section. And for the PDF, you can visit the Telegram channel, the link for which is provided in the description. And remember, uh, from from now on, the classes will be continued Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 a.m. And for NABARD aspirants, I am very soon coming up with a series on government schemes and ARD current affairs. Uh, most probably, it will start from the coming Monday. And the government scheme to start. Will start. Yeah, the current will try to start from the next week. Okay. So Nabad aspirants, who are there, you can tighten your seat belts now because I am coming up with a new whole series of government schemes, which we will do in one session. We will do one scheme, very comprehensively, and we will also do based objective questions. Right. So okay, we will meet on Monday session. And remember, on Monday we are going to discuss all the news, all the important news from PIB. 
from the second week of June 2022. All right. So for phase two aspirants of RBI Grade B, abhi thoda time bacha hai aapke paas saath saath din ka so padte ro achhe se and all the very best. All right. So I'll see you on Monday in the next session. Goodbye. Take care and God bless.